Right, welcome back to the Jack Ward Football Podcast. This is one play you must watch out for from every League One club this season. Of course, with only four weeks until the season does kick off, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of the podcast. Roundups every Sunday and lots of exciting concepts during the week, just like this one. In fact, last weekend, we did one transfer your League One club must make this summer. Really interesting. After this one, definitely go and check that one out. Let's begin with one player you should watch out for from Barnsley. So for Barnsley, I've gone with Luca Connell. Not much has gone Barnsley's way this summer with their manager, Michael Duff, leaving for Swansea and their captain, Anderson, going to the Premier League with Luton Town. But keeping hold of Luca Connell would definitely be a shining light. Last season, Connell finished with eight goal involvements, five of those being assists, creating five big chances in the process as well. Connell is a great example of a traditional deep line playmaker with 1.4 key passes per 90 and some very impressive defensive numbers as well, currently averaging 1.5 when looking at last season's stats. It was a heartbreak for Connell at Wembley in May, but I think Connell will be back if he does stay. I think it's essential for real revenge and definitely one to watch. So for Blackpool, I've gone with Jerry Yates, probably the obvious shout, but sometimes that is for a reason. A striker with 14 championship goals last season. I think he's definitely a player to watch out for ahead of this League One campaign. In fact, last time he was in League One, he bowed 22 and, of course, helped Blackpool win promotion and climb out of the division. The pacey attacker is attracting plenty of attention from other clubs. When you look at Blackpool's season and squad last season, the championship, it wasn't a great season. And to still score 14 goals in that That division says so much about the quality of the player. Ipswich and others interested in his services. But if he remains in League One, he will be a danger, I believe, once again. So for Bolton, I've gone with Aaron Morley. Last season was a very good season for Morley, but this season could be even better with his development just only getting better and quicker. It seems never far away from a wonder goal. The articulate box-to-box midfielder contributed to seven goals last season, playing a vital role in that Ian Everett midfield. His progressive passes and expected assists remain some of the highest in Skybet League One, with an average of 1.7 key passes per 90 last season. At only 23 years of age, the room for development is frightening and I use the word articulate because just go and watch some of the clips and some of the goals but definitely the passes he's articulate in the way that he just does pass with utter comfort and ease and again he's full of energy as that quite traditional box-to-box midfielder it's going to be really interesting to see how he does develop because I think Bolton have got one of the best midfield operators in Aaron Morley watch out for him once again this season So for Bristol Rovers, I've gone with Aaron Collins. Maybe picking last season's winner of the League One player of the season is the obvious shout, but I think it's fair to say he will be back and one to watch out for again this season. I can't really argue with some of those numbers. 16 goals and 11 assists is just a fantastic, nothing short than a fantastic return in a side that finished in 17th. If he can start the season the way he started last season, then... Bristol Rovers really could be off to a fly on top of a really positive summer transfer window so far. Maybe there are some other shouts, but I couldn't look past Aaron Collins and the way that he just is a fantastic attacker in League One. And for Bristol Rovers, he is pivotal. Aaron Collins is the player to watch out for from Bristol Rovers this season. So for Burton, I've gone with Josh Gordon. Burton have definitely strengthened their striker options over the summer with Cole Stockton and now Josh Gordon coming through the door. And together, they could be devastating. Josh Gordon is one that might go under the radar because we know Cole Stockton well as League One supporters. We know what he did for Morecambe over the last couple of years. But Josh Gordon was slightly less knowledgeable on. But I think... When you get to know him, his fantastic work rate, pressing style and eye for goal is something to keep a really keen eye out for. He played to his strengths at Barrow and if he can continue to do that at Burton, this could be a really exciting duo between him and Stockton and with them, should I say, a dream duo, I think. Look out for Josh Gordon. Burton might have picked up a brilliant bargain on a free transfer. Somebody really different to the bullish nature of Stockton, a bit more getting behind driver defenders type of player and with that and Cole Stockton, with that fantastic finish ability and the hold-up play could they, they they really could work well and I think that could be a fantastic duo watch out for Josh Gordon and Cole Stockton but we know less about Gordon so there you go he's the one to watch out for in my eyes 
So for Cambridge, I've gone with Liam Bennett. There's been quite a few exits when looking at this Cambridge transfer window so far, but Liam Bennett does remain and stays, and he could be one to watch out for this season. At only 21 years of age, he played 22 games last season in Skybet League One and was solid throughout, assisting once and creating three big chances. The attacking right back played a pivotal role and a significant role in the Cambridge survival story that I think will be remembered for quite a few seasons now. They looked doomed at one point and, of course, in the end, survived on on the final day. He played a very, very important role within that. And I think next season will play a bigger role as well. Liam Bennett, of course, made quite a few big exits at Cambridge. The likes of Sam Smith, Harvey Nibs, Ironside, Lloyd Jones going to Charlton. But Bennett, he does stay and I think could get even more opportunities and could be a real player to watch out for this season. So for Carlisle United, I've gone with Owen Moxon. When we talk about new players joining the division to watch out for, Owen Moxon is definitely one of those. At 25 years of age, he contributed to 21 goals in Skybet League, two last season from central midfield, assisting on 15 occasions. A fantastic return. Last season, he had the second most assist out of any other player in England's top four leagues, just second behind a certain Kevin De Bruyne. Ever heard of him? He's pretty good. He's pretty good, Kevin De Bruyne. Just want to treble, actually. Owen Moxon, top four leagues, assist numbers, just second place. That is how good this player is. Of course, there are, you know, I mean, he's not literally Kevin De Bruyne and at that level, but he's he's got a lot of assists last season. Second, when you look at England's top four leagues, he completed 65 successful dribbles and won 152 tackles in League Two last season. So we look at a really complete footballer here, a really complete midfielder and somebody who can do everything. Playmaking, when you look at those goal involvements and 152 tackles in the division, box to box, just a complete player. He's got all of those ticks. Owen Moxon certainly will be a player to watch out for this season. Carlisle must keep hold of him. There will be interest and with a return and numbers like that, you can see exactly why. But if Carlisle do get their hands on Owen Moxon once again next season, then he could be, and I think he will definitely be, a player to watch out for. So for Charlton, I've gone with Miles Leeburn. I think, and there's a feeling inside me, this will be the season where Miles Leeburn finally gets the recognition that he deserves. He has got bags of potential and could be one incredible player. And next season, I believe he will get the opportunity and more opportunities to show what he's all about. 12 goals in 18 starts last season is a very impressive return. And with the way and the rate that he's developing, I can only see those numbers rising this season. In fact, Lee Burn was the joint third for goals per 90, averaging 0.68 just behind and alongside Freddie Ladapo. His package of height, pace, physicality are extremely rare in one footballer and a player like that can just hurt defenders in so many different ways. He was good last season, but this season I think could be the time and the the moment in which he sets on fire. He sets a light, not literally because that would be painful for Miles Lieben, but I think in a footballing sense, this could be the time where we see and finally he goes from being a really good young player at Charlton that could be really successful to being that player and being the player that we really see Charlton using on a regular basis and those numbers just getting higher and higher. Let's wait and see, but I think this could be the one. Miles Lieburn, Charlton, one to watch for sure. So for Cheltenham, I've gone with Aidan Keener. A lot of people will be speaking about Keener ahead of this campaign, and I can see why when delving deeper. He joined Cheltenham in January and bagged nine goal contributions in 14 starts. The addition of Rob Street could make a fascinating partnership and a great chance for Keener to kick on further next season. He's going to have a big role to play with Alfie Main and joining Charlton, so he's going to get even more chances to shine as a striker in this Cheltenham side. And like I said, with Rob Street joining the football club, lots of options together it could be really interesting definitely one to watch now if he may no problem for Cheltenham maybe I'm not entirely sure I'm trying to convince myself he's good he's definitely one to watch now if he may though he was pretty good wasn't he He felt like he was good we'll have to wait and see but Adam Keener definitely one to watch for Cheltenham this season so for Derby County, I've gone with Cashin, highlighting one of the best defenders in Skybet League 1 last season was not a difficult choice. And according to who scored, he was the third highest rated player in the division as well. And when delving deeper, you can see exactly why. The left-footed centre-back to help keep Derby 17 clean sheets during last campaign, averaging 1.9 tackles and 4.1 clearances per 90. Fighting off championship interest for Derby's young player of the year will be tough this summer, but I think essential. 
I really do think it will be essential. If he does stay at the end of the window, there is no doubt in my mind, the 21-year-old, 21, frightening amount of potential still ahead of him. There is no doubt he'll be one player to watch out for this season. So for Exeter City, I've gone with Vincent Harper, some really smart business from Exeter, bringing in a really exciting young player to the football club, a pacey, forward-thinking, athletic left wing-back who fits perfectly into the system, really does have the potential to be an excellent addition to not just this side, but also the league itself. I really do believe that it's such an incredible and smart coup from Exeter. Some of the highest numbers for dribbles and successful attacking actions per 90 in the National League last season, along with a lovely left pace. Peg. I know they've got Dimitri Mitchell in that position, but as an understudy and somebody who can play in other areas as well, it's a really good player to add to the squad. It's only 22 years of age. He has an abundance of talent right now, uh, but I think future development and going forward, the sky is the limit. Vincent Harper is a fantastic pickup, and when adding to the fantastic players in the division, he's definitely one to watch this season. So for Fleet would have gone with Phoenix Patterson, first and foremost, what a bloody name. Secondly, what a very good footballer he is. Since joining last January from Waterford in Northern Ireland, he's really hit the ground running, accumulating four assists and one goal and eight big chances created. Alongside earning a well-deserved move to League One, he also picked up the PFA Ireland First Division Player of the Year for 2022, an incredible achievement for a 22-year-old. If he continues the form and furthers his development, the tricky winger that he's showing already in League One and showed post-January for Fleetwood last season. I think this free-kick master could be one hell of a player once again and definitely one to watch. Cod's vlogs, I asked him, of course, I said, who is one to watch? And he said Phoenix Patterson and some of the superlatives he was putting forward were fantastic. Definitely one to watch. Phoenix Patterson for Fleetwood is the one I've gone for there. So for Leighton Orient, I've gone with Dan Adji. I think a really smart addition for Leighton Orient, giving them something really different in the attacking phase, a completely different element. That's what Dan Adji brings. We know from his time at Oxford United. And since that move, he has just got even better. He was a player to watch out for in League Two last season for Crew, scoring 16 and assisting five in 46 games. His physical, powerful and pacey attributes have always caused defenders problems. But last season, the output was there to take Aji to the next level. I think he always had that really rare, pacey, quite physical, bullish, but not clumsy sort of element as a footballer about him. But now with the output, he's even better. And we're now starting to see those 16 goals and five assists across a fantastic season, getting regular minutes. For Leighton Orient on a free transfer, I think it's a really, really clever pickup. On a free transfer, like I said, it is just a no-brainer. And I think he will now take, and could take, I say will, he could take League One by storm. He's definitely got the numbers to back it up and definitely the type of player as well. Certainly one to watch for Leighton Orient this season. So for Lincoln City, I've gone with Ethan Orahan. Now, of course, I asked Jake about Lincoln's one to watch and he did not hesitate. He is in love with Ethan Orahan, a player that came into this Lincoln side in January and just has transformed the way that midfield operates, both going forward and defensively. His presence, his technique ability and the consistency just works wonders in this Mark Kennedy side. And it's clear why now there was so much interest from Football League clubs. I know Forrest Green were looking at him, Ox we're looking at him. We should have done that one. We made quite a few mistakes when it comes to recruitment last season. But Ethan Orahan was definitely one to look at and we missed out. And last Christmas, last January, Lincoln swooped in and got a fantastic player that even Jacob said himself they might not see for much longer. But if he can stay at Lincoln just for this season, he could really take them to the next level and take them to the heights in which Lincoln want to get to in this league. With the development and improvement only looking to go in one direction, it's pretty clear to see he's one to watch this season. So for Northampton, I've gone with Sam Hoskins. It's hard to look past the most recent League Two player of the season as a player to watch out for ahead of this campaign. And last season, he registered 22 goals and seven assists from both flanks, scoring the only goal against Tranmere on the final day of the season to secure promotion for Northampton. He might be 30, which some will say is very young. In football terms, 30 is probably coming to the end of your prime years. Last season's output was just incredible and he will be a danger once again and will play a significant role in this Northampton side. Those output and that fantastic award last season for Sam Hoskins. He's going to be a danger man and one to watch for Northampton this season. So for Oxford United, I've gone with... Ruben Rodriguez. It's the obvious shout, okay? It is the obvious shout. However, he is a player that in the most simplest terms, I am so excited to see in an Oxford shirt. 
it might not work out. But somebody with 18 goals and 15 assists in a very competitive National League last season is just getting me a little bit excited. Let me be excited, okay? There are other players, Tyler Goodrum, Odonka, these young players coming through that really could hit the ground running and continue in their own fantastic development as footballers for Oxford. But I think Ruben Rodriguez, he's one to watch. Of course he is. And I just wanted to delve a little bit deeper into him and discuss Ruben Rodriguez in more it's just more, really. That's the truth. Just I want to talk about him more, okay? Let me be. Last season, creativity and attack and output was just wonderful. And for Oxford, it was woeful. So we're getting somebody who can come in and hopefully change the fortunes and plug a hole into what was a big hole last season. The creative and attacking output was just at some of the lowest compared to other League One clubs and certainly did hinder us. So far, our business has been really encouraging and Ruben Rodriguez was the first player to come through the door and it was a fantastic, fantastic addition and does fill me with some hope for Oxford ahead of the season. Not going overboard just yet. But it's getting me excited. Ruben Rodriguez is a player that joined from Notts County and is somebody now Oxford who I'm really excited to talk about more. This won't be the last time you hear the name Ruben Rodriguez. Let's see. One to watch for me, though. So for Peterborough, I've gone with Archie Collins. This is a fantastic signing for Peterborough. And he walked straight into this posh midfield. So highly rated at Exeter, helping them win promotion to League One two seasons ago as a homegrown player. It will be a massive loss for them. For Peterborough, though, it's a fantastic pickup. Last season, he racked up some fantastic numbers in both offensive and defensive areas, earning attention from multiple League One and Championship clubs. And for Peterborough to pick him up, it is just splendid for them. This is the perfect player to replace Jack Taylor, of course, who left for Ipswich this summer. When you look at his high progressive runs and passes per 19 League One last season, he really is and will be one to watch for Peterborough this campaign. So for Port Vale, I've gone with Connor Ripley. I wanted to include a goalkeeper and Connor Ripley really could be a player that elevates his Port Vale side. Sometimes we discriminate goalkeepers in these videos. Not this time. Connor Ripley, after being released by Morecambe, there's plenty of interest and there was plenty of interest after what was a difficult season with Morecambe with that relegation. But it's pretty well known. His character is just fantastic around the dressing room and his goalkeeping ability is just incredible. And like I said, goalkeepers don't get enough mention in these episodes, but I think Connor Ripley could be a game changer for Port Vale this season. So for Pompey, I've gone with Terry Devlin. Quite a few to choose from when you look at the amount of players coming through the door. But the exciting name of Terry Devlin just bounced and springed off the sheet. A player that might not play every minute for Pompey this season. But the potential and the current ability can only be described as exciting. In Northern Ireland, he showed his willingness to play quickly. Brilliant in transition, intention to dictate the tempo through the midfield. All of those perfect attributes as a midfielder. At only 19 years of age... This is a fantastic addition to this John Massinio side for now and for the future. I think he will get an opportunity. I think he probably will take it when you look at what he's all about. And of course, there is definitely areas to improve. But what he's got now at the age he is, definitely one to watch for me. So for Reading, I've gone with Theo Walcott. You're probably thinking, Jack, this has not been announced yet. What are you doing? Do you have inside sources? The answer, no, I don't. But it's been heavily reported that Theo Walcott will be joining Reading this summer. And if he does, I'm taking a punt on it. If it doesn't happen, I'm sorry, Reading, I've made a mistake. But I'm going to jump on it because it looks as though it's all but confirmed. As a researcher, like I said, it hasn't happened yet. But Theo Walcott in League One of course, is a player to watch. He might be 34 and past his best, but a player with 20 Premier League appearances and four goal contributions just last season is always going to offer something in this division. As well as quality, experience will be a key factor when bringing in Theo Walker, a player that's only been at Premier League clubs for the last 20 years, can only be seen as a positive. It looks as though it's close to being completed. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, but Theo Walcott, if he does join, will be one hell of a player to watch out for in Sky Bet League 1 this season. So for Shrewsbury, I've gone with Luke Leahy. It might be the obvious shout, but I think it has to be mentioned once again. Last season, he played in all 38 games, averaging 89 minutes per 90. He finished the campaign with 13 goal contributions from central midfield and nine goals and four assists to go with that is the official breakdown. The Shrewsbury captain will be and was immense last season and I expect to be immense once again uh, ahead of this campaign as well. A lot of change over the summer with Shrewsbury, including the manager, but the captain at the moment does see him remain the same. So, Luke Leahy, I know I've been mentioning him so many times over the last couple of years, but I think he is one to watch for them. 
So for Stevenage, I've gone with Louis Thompson, a fit and injury-free Louis Thompson. is definitely one to watch out for in League One this season. His great work rate experience just fits all of the attributes that Steve Evans wants in a player. And he suits the Stevenage side brilliantly. Thompson is never far away from a long-range effort, high numbers of progressive passes and successful attacking actions, adding plenty of positive elements to the Stevenage side. If he stays fit, which will be definitely key, I think this could be an excellent and very smart piece of business from Stevenage this summer. Louis Thompson, 28 years of age. Like I said, still plenty of years ahead of him if he does stay away from his injuries and knocks. Unfortunately, he has been picking up on a regular basis over the last couple of years for Pompey. Let's wait and see, but I think he could be definitely a player to watch out for this season. So for Wickham, I've gone with TJ Debar, another brilliant name of course, but on a footballing level, we've spoken about the need for a refreshment at Wickham ahead of this new season and the potential regular introduction of TJ Debar could be exactly what they need. The Gibraltar International has signed a new deal at Wickham with expectations of regular minutes this season. When called upon, he showed real glimpses of quality, managing four goal contributions from seven starts. When looking at this Wickham squad, I think TJ Debar will definitely shine this season. Like I said, they need for a young, energetic, refreshing add to this squad, he could be a player already at the football club that could bring just that. That's what I've gone with for Wickham this season. So for Wigan, I've gone with Matt Smith. After his release from Arsenal, Wigan have gone out and snapped up a really talented midfielder at this level. His technical ability has been shown on multiple occasions already in Sky Bet League One, with spells at Swindon, at Charlton and at Doncaster Rovers. He now has a permanent home and this development could really allow him to kick on further. He brings great playmaking ability, ball carrying ability and creative ability to this Wigan side. And when looking at the squad, that is something they could be missing. And Matt Smith could come in and just add that bit of stardust that they need. At 23, a really good age profile. Lots of clubs in the Championship and in League One looking at him for Wigan to get it done shows a great bit of ambition and level of recruitment strategy. Really impressed by this one. Matt Smith is the one to watch for Wigan this season. And there you go. Just like that, we have identified one player you must watch out for from every League One club this season. If you haven't left a like, please do so. 100 likes would be incredible. Subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, the last video, one transfer your League One club must make this summer, is available on the channel as well. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll be replying and responding to all of those as per usual. Until next time, I've been Jack. This has been the Jack World Football Podcast, and I will see you all very, very soon. Take care.